Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to create this uh, glowing animated text effect. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud. Um, you can use whatever version of Photoshop that you have that will work for this. Um, I know that Photoshop CS6 and CS6 Extended for sure will work. As far as the uh, previous versions, I'm not too sure about. So this is what we're going to create. This right here. This glowing uh, animated kind of text effect. And we're going to do this basically with just some layer styles and um, just some uh, keyframing and uh, what else do you want to call it uh, some text warping sorry <laughs> so let's get started uh, first thing you're gonna do is create a new document or a new file 800 by 600 72 resolution RGB color and click OK Go ahead and unlock this uh, layer and let's go ahead and add a new layer. We'll name this top layer highlights and the bottom layer we'll name it BG for background. Um, I already have my colors selected and uh, it really doesn't matter what colors you use. If you want to kind of you know follow along with the same theme that I'm doing you'll want to use a darker blue and a lighter blue. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll bring that with the background layer selected, bring the darker blue into the foreground and grab your paint bucket tool and click on here. So now we've colored our, our background. Um, I'm going to get rid of this timeline real quick. We don't need it in the way right this second. And the next thing I'm going to do is click on the highlights layer and right click and create clipping mask. Grab your brush tool and with a fairly big brush, uh, this is 900 pixels. As you can see right here, um, the hardness is set to zero. And Actually, we want to change our foreground color to white. Click OK. And right in the middle, just click one time. Alright. Let's drop the opacity down to about 40%. And that'll give you that um, that background that I uh, I have on on my uh, other glow text. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and bring our light blue back into our foreground. You can click on this little these two arrows right here, or the X key. There's a hot key to um, change your foreground and background colors back and forth. And let's grab our type tool, shortcut T for type. I'm using informal 011 for the type or for the font, excuse me. You'll want to use a rather kind of fat, uh, thick font. It doesn't really matter which one, all caps. Just type the word glow and kind of center it in the middle here. Now we're going to double click on our layers or our type layer. Bring up our layer styles. First thing we're going to do is add a bevel and emboss uh, style to it. And we're going to enter bevel, smooth, um, direction is up. And we are going to move the size up to about 20 pixels. 
21 is fine. Soften it by one pixel. And we are going to come down to um, our shadow mode. And we are going to change that to overlay. And let's drop the opacity down to about 40%. Okay, and we're going to also change our gloss contour to cone and click anti-aliased. Let's go ahead and we're going to give it a contour as well. And we're going to click anti-aliased again and give it the double ring contour. And let's crank this up the range up to about 85%. All right. Now let's go back to our bevel and emboss, and we're going to change the lighting to 90 degrees and 55. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is give it an inner shadow. And we're going to change the blend mode to soft light. And the opacity at 75% is fine. Uh, the distance is going to be zero. Choke is going to be zero. And the size is going to be about 45 picks. And that's good for that. Now, let's go ahead and give it a inner glow. Uh, blend mode is going to be overlay. And we're going to change the opacity to 100%. And we're going to change the source to center. The choke is going to be about 30%. And the size is going to be I'm um, trying to decide actually what it's going to be. <laughs> uh, let's go with about 27. Uh, let's go with about 30 pixels. Okay. I think that that is going to be good for that. Let's give it an outer glow. We're going to change the blend mode to color dodge. And we are going to spread at zero. We're going to give it a size of about 26 pixels, 25, somewhere in that neighborhood. And let's add an alias on. Contour is going to be linear, so it's going to stay the same. And let's crank the range up to 100%. Okay, not too bad, looking pretty good. And uh, the last thing we want to do is give it a drop shadow. We're going to change the blend mode to overlay once again. 
and the opacity we're going to drop that down to about 50 percent change the distance to about six pixels spread is zero and the size is going to be 10 and click OK so now we have all of our layer styles and our glowing text now we're going to animate it so let's pull up our timeline let's go to window scroll down to timeline and you need to click on create video timeline <clears throat> And over here to the left, you'll see that all of your uh, layers that are over here are also over here in your timeline. Um, really, the only one we need to, be, need to be worried about is our text layer. So we'll click on this arrow. And all the way over here is a little slide bar you can slide down. And with your scrubber at the very beginning, which is this little thing right here, we're going to click on this little stopwatch in the style um, menu area and that's going to give us our first keyframe okay so we have our first keyframe so now we're going to grab our scrubber and we're going to drag it to about 15 frames and we're going to come back in here into our styles and we're going to uh, double click to pull up our layer styles again and we're going to go to our inner glow and we're going to turn it down to about 18 pixels and we're going to go to our outer glow and we are going to increase the size we'll take it up to about oh 50 pixels would be fine and click OK. Alright, now as you see in our timeline, that went ahead and gave us, created a keyframe for us. So if we drag our scrubber back to the beginning and we press play, you'll see that it's glowing. Okay, so we have it glowing. Now what we want to do is we want to drag our scrubber back just a little bit. And don't worry, it's not going to look the greatest when you play it in here. Um, you'll, once we render this out, it'll look a lot better. So with our scrubber about, I don't know, right here, somewhere, just give it a little bit of space between this keyframe. We're going to add another keyframe because we don't want anything to change between here and here. And we'll do that by selecting this little uh, diamond symbol or keyframe symbol and and then we're going to drag this on out to about right here okay and we're going to simply go back inside And we're going to go back to our um, inner glow. And we're going to change this back to about 30 pixels. Whoops. About 30 pixels. And we're going to go back to our outer glow. And we're going to change that back to our 26 that we had to begin with. And we're going to click.
Okay. So now we have um, we have this. So now we we need to create our um, our text warp. So we'll drag this back to the beginning again. We'll come down here to where it says text warp. Click on the stopwatch to create our first keyframe, and we'll drag this out to where we started with our first keyframe before, or our second one rather, and we will double click right here on the text, on the, the T, and you'll see this up here, this little text warp symbol, I guess you could call it. Click on that, and we'll go to arc upper and we'll put it at about uh, about 20% will work and we'll click OK and then Excuse me, I'm, I'm, I messed up. All you need to do is just call up your text tool, um, your type tool. So hit T, shortcut T, and then click on that little arc tool up there, and we'll go to arc upper. We'll go to 20%, and click OK. Now you'll see it added a keyframe for us down here in our text warp. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag it over a little bit. We're going to add another keyframe because we don't want it to change. And then we're going to drag it back out. And then we are going to click on this again. And then just simply go to none. And hit OK. Alright. Now, let's go right here. And let's drag our timeline in. We don't need it th exactly that long. Something about like that will be just fine. And let's grab our scrubber and we'll drag it back. And we'll let's play it. And as you see, you got the glowing, warping text effect. Now you can do one of two things. You can come over here to this little dialog right here and click on this and click on render video. Or you can come up here and go to save for web. and save it as a GIF. 256 colors, your dither at 100%. Once this renders out here. Um, I would definitely change the size from 800, uh, you know, down to something smaller, like 200 by 150. And after you change your size, and it takes forever to actually change it, then you can um, go down here to where it says looping options and click on forever. And then now when you play it, it will just constantly do that. And when you save it and you upload it, to a website or whatever it's just going to constantly sit there and do this so that's it for this tutorial i hope it helped you out um, if it did please do me a big favor and click on the thumbs up it definitely helps me um, if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel and 
you guys have a great day, take care, and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.